I had a full head of hair when I started here, so we were operating out of one building, and now we're up to, six, what, six buildings? Seven? Yeah, I, I can't even keep track anymore. When I started here, there was 85 employees. I knew everybody's name, and now we're, you know, somewhere around 500 employees. Rosenbauer became a world leader because of their unique ability to customize trucks specifically for what departments need. It's cool to go halfway across the world and see a truck that was built right here in Minnesota. We're close enough to the Twin Cities. We have different companies that need the similar things. They need to have sheet metal bent. They need to buy lights. And having the infrastructure in the Twin Cities gets us a lot of parts that we can source locally and keep building up our stock and inventory. And I think that's where that innovation comes from. Uh, it's all done locally. Uh, it's not something that you have to go to Europe to go get. It's homegrown. A few years ago, the human resources team reached out to the state of Minnesota to see what kind of resources there could be available for training. The state has uh, multiple types of grant programs available to companies specifically for training. For skilled trades, it's helpful because that is definitely an area where it is harder to find qualified people to do certain jobs. I don't think it's a secret that in the automotive industry, it's more geared towards a more male-dominated workforce. This a grant opens up a door to many more people to be able to come and work at Rosenbauer. They want to make sure that there's opportunities available to all Minnesotans to build a bridge between where the skills gaps are in the current labor force and what the company actually needs to be productive. Even if you've worked here for 15 years or 15 days, you're going through the same program and we're gonna get commonality. There's a level of quality when you start doing the same thing over and over and doing it well. Minnesotans as workers tend to be very hard workers. Um, that is reflected in, I think, the workforce here at Rosenbauer and the commitment and the pride people have to building such an amazing product. There's a lot of skilled labor in this area that I think allows us to you know, continue to grow. I think the state is going above and beyond to help support companies and invest in companies. We like to say we still play with fire trucks here. I feel like I sometimes have the coolest job in the world.